Are you a content creator looking for effects to bring your videos to a whole new level? Welcome to Production Crate. Production Crate is the resource for graphics, visual effects, music, and much more. On top of that, these assets are compatible with your editing software. Get your unlimited free effects today or premium effects for only $49 a year. Make it awesome. What's going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys a couple tips that I've collected in order for you to improve your editing, to actually take your videos to a whole new level. If you guys are excited, make sure to smash the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new. I would say let's get started as always right after the intro. What's going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 17 tutorial. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to use this awesome smart split feature that is basically new in Vegas Pro 17. So if you guys haven't seen the walkthrough yet, make sure to watch this video all the way until the end because then in the outro card, you can click through uh, the full Vegas Pro 17. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how the smart split works. And basically, you guys are gonna be blown away by this. You guys know what a jump cut looks like. It looks like this. Vegas post all the reactions. Vegas post all the reactions. It is just basically like, for example, a little silence or in like a like when you inhale, that's going to be cut out and that's going to jump to it. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use smart split, meaning that you won't be able to tell that there was a cut. So this is basically before. Vegas post all the reactions. Vegas post all the reactions. And this is after. Post all the reactions I post all the reactions I can't you guys imagine how amazing that looks it doesn't even look that there was a jump cut it just looks like that you're talking in a straight sentence without any cuts I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do that all right so let's drag in a clip of me talking that has silences in it that has jump cuts in it I'm gonna just pick a uh, intro clip that I did uh, for this week. Alright, so let's turn on some audio and let's see what it looks like. What's poppin' guys? Welcome back to a brand new... Alright, that's, that's the blooper. Let's pick this one. This is the, the official one. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to just do what I always do. Just like zoom in a little bit because that's one is a little bit too zoomed out. I'm gonna also add in a LUT filter. You guys don't want to pay attention to this. This is just standard what I do to every single, uh, single clip. Alright, so this is basically what I always do. Now, let's go ahead and see where is a jump cut. Audio spectrum based on music in... All right, so this is basically a jump cut that I would do. Now I'm gonna just cut it right here, cut it right here, and then you wanna do, uh, delete that and drag it to each other to cover up that gap. So this is what the jump cut looks like. Based on music in Vegas Pro 17. And now I'm going to actually show you how to cover up that jump cut. Okay, so then what you want to do is you want to go back and you want to make sure that you won't have any cuts in your clip and you want to go ahead and select the part that you want to have cut out. So now we're gonna go to edit and we're gonna click Smart Split. All right, so now it makes a little cut with a warp flow transition onto it. So let's play it back. This is before with the jump cut. Based on music in Vegas Pro 17. And this is basically the clip looking like just with the effect. Drum based on music in Vegas Pro 17. So if you guys are excited for this tutorial, make sure to smash the like button down below. So guys, that's how amazing it looks, guys. This is how you actually cover up jump cuts and just make it like one smooth cut. Well, not, not even a cut. It looks like you're just talking and that you're like just talking in one sentence without any cuts. So guys, the battery for my camera is that. I'm glad I just finished this effect. So guys, that's for this video. Thank you so much for the continued support. I will see you guys in a brand new video. This was freaking amazing. What is popping, guys? Welcome Welcome back to a brand new video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to create this amazing pop out effect because last week I uploaded a video that was going to be deleted in 24 hours and there were like a ton of suggestions and you guys and this comment actually suggested a pop out effect how to do it just like this. If you guys are wondering how to do that, how to recreate this amazing pop out effect, make sure you smash the like button down below, subscribe if you're new, and as always, let's get started right after the intro. So before you're gonna actually make your still frame and take yourself out of the screen in order to create that pop out effect, I'm gonna show you guys a little settings on my camera. That's what you want to simulate on your camera as well. So if I take my camera and if I'm gonna point it to my light source, 
as you clearly notice, it is automatically changing the light source. So if you want to go ahead and turn that off, I have to just tap this small icon in the corner to turn that off. So if you want to make a still frame and you want to, you want to have the lighting exactly the same, you just want to turn off the auto lighting. So if I go ahead and you know place my camera down, and if I tap on that small icon, as you can see right there, right now, if I point this one to the light source, my camera is not automatically making the background darker, and that is what you want. Turn off the automatic lighting, so everything stays the same, so you will actually have an equal lighted still frame, so you won't notice that you're popping out of the screen, that your background is not actually changing. That's what you want. You just want to have your camera in the same position, with the same lighting, and you can only adjust the lighting if, if I twist on this little wheel at the front, as you can see, the, you know, the display becomes brighter. I can also turn that darker, but that's how you basically want to do that turn off automatic lighting all right guys so as you can see right now this is basically the intro that i filmed now the only thing what we need to do now is basically do two things we want to basically sit in a complete still position and also have a frame where we're completely out of the screen like that all right so right now i did my intro and as you can see right now i'm just freezing for a couple seconds right here so this gives us the opportunity to actually cut ourselves out and, you know, zoom into it. The next thing that we need to do is also have a still frame where we are not actually in the screen. So what we need to do then is go to this disk at icon at the top, which says save snapshot to file, which is going to save it as an image. All right. So the next thing we need to do is also make a snapshot of us sitting right here. So then I'm going to also save this snapshot and I'm going to also do it like that. Okay. So now what we need to do is press S on our keyboard like that. Now we're going to put this one aside for a second and then we're going to drag in the clip of us in the actual screen. Now what we need to do is go to the event pen crop icon because we're going to mask yourself out so we can zoom in. That's what we're going to do. Then this box will prompt and then we're going to click on a mask at the very bottom. Then we're going to pick the anchor creation tool and we're going to go around ourselves just like that. I'm just going to speed up the camera because you just want to basically mask yourself out completely because everything that you're going to mask out, it will be zoomed in. So you want to do this pretty accurately. So I'm just going to speed the camera up and add some music while I'm doing this. This is ourselves cut out. Now what you can also do is zoom in and then you can just adjust these like really small details around my cap as you can see, just to make it look a little bit more neat. I'm just gonna adjust these keyframes just a little bit. So the next thing we need to do is we need to now insert that screenshot underneath it where we're out of the screen like that. So we will have a background. So as you can see, it looks like I'm just sitting right there, but it, I'm actually cut out if I lower the opacity of the bottom track, as you can see. So now what we need to do is decide like how long this is going to be. I think this length looks pretty good. Now we're gonna go to the event pan crop icon of the top one of the mask and then we what we need to do is we need to click on position place our marker at the very end and then we're going to zoom in all the way like that so this is basically what it looks like so as you can see, that looks really, really cool. Right now we're zooming. This is how to create that pop out effect. Obviously you can just like add in a different, you know, background color, for example. So what we're gonna need to do now is also, I'm gonna add in just a little, like a Gaussian blur. So I'm gonna go to the video effects tab right here. I'm gonna go to Gaussian blur, which is right here. I'm gonna add in a light blur, drag it onto the screenshot at the bottom. And what we can also do is for example, go to the color grading or the color corrector. And we can add in, for example, like some red midtones like that. So this is basically, what it looks like. This works really, really nice if you want to introduce somebody, for example, if you have like a series of like, for example, like, and that's, you know, in the intro, there's four people you want to introduce. You can just create this awesome pop out effect and you can just, for example, like add in a name, anything like that. So guys, if this is how to create an amazing pop out effect in Vegas Pro 17. If you want to pick up this software, the link is in the description down below. It is that simple, guys. Just take a screenshot of yourselves, just freezing. Take a screenshot of your, like, of your uh, environment and make sure that your camera is actually like, just set to manual so that the lighting is not going to be like all messed up and that your background all of a sudden becomes lighter than yourself because that's a really really important step in the process so guys that's it for this video thank you so much for the continued support what's going on guys my name is alex welcome back to a brand new video in this tutorial i have something really really cool for you guys so i made a font pack obviously vegas pro comes with a lot of standard fonts but sometimes like some fonts they just don't cut it so basically i 
have the perfect font pack for you, which includes over 2,000 different fonts that you can actually install completely for free, free of charge. It's not going to cost anything. The only thing you have to do is check out the download link in the description, open up a new tab so you can actually like, so you don't lose this video, install. I'm, I'm not going to explain to you guys right now how to do it. I'm going to just, I'm just going to just show you how to download it, how to open it up, how to download all the fonts and also how to use it. So if you guys are excited for this tutorial and how to get like more than 2000 fonts, make sure to smash the like button down below, subscribe if you're new. Let's get these fonts installed right after the intro. Okay guys, so as you can see right now, this is basically the page that you will land on when you click the first link in the description to this font pack download page. So we're gonna click on this green download button and right now we're gonna basically download this pack. Okay, so as you can see right now, you just want to basically place this zip file somewhere on your desktop, but you need actually WinRAR or WinZip for this in order to extract these. So I'm gonna also leave a link down below if you didn't have that. It's just free software that you can download in order to extract these files. So we're gonna right click and we're gonna click on extract track here. All right, so now we have the extracted folder on our computer. We're gonna open this one up. And in order to actually download all these fonts at the same time, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just press Control A. So we will select them all. And then we're gonna just basically right click and we're gonna hit install. And as you can see right now, it is installing all of the fonts. And sometimes you will have like fonts already on your computer that are also in this package. So you want to basically hit this one. So that will means like do this for all fonts. You wanna hit yes, and then it's going to continue installing all the fonts it is really really cool guys over 2000 fonts are included in this package and we're gonna just we're gonna just wait a couple seconds until this one is finished downloading and then i'm gonna sh also show you how to use them in vegas pro 17. okay so now all the fonts are installed right now it is time to boot up vegas pro 17. okay so as you can see right now this is vegas pro we're gonna go to the media generators tab and we're gonna scroll all the way down until we see titles and text so we're gonna click on here and we're gonna also pick the default one drag it into our timeline and let's go back to that folder for a second so we can actually like keep um, keep in mind a specific font so you can double check that it's also in vegas pro let's say that we're going to pick modern so we're going to go back to vegas pro and we're going to just for example type in my name right now i'm going to highlight it and right now we're going to look in this list for modern so we're going to scroll up until we are at the m and as you can see right now right here it says modern now as you can see that looks really cool and all the other fonts that we just installed are also in vegas pro so let's just pick a last one so you guys can see that all the fonts are in here let's go back to the folder for a second let's say that we're going to pick neverwinter let's go back to vegas let's scroll down until we are at the end right here boom it says neverwinter now that's a really really cool guys this is how you install custom fonts in vegas pro 17 using this awesome font package what also can happen is let's say that you pick a custom font going to highlight it right here but it's going to look like the default one and that's not going to change anything if you have issue with that you want to pick legacy text drag the default onto your timeline and then it will also read the fonts that the regular titles and text can't read so this is basically how to install custom fonts in vegas pro 17 guys it is really really simple and that's how to do it so guys that's it now you have over 2,000 fonts that you can choose from in vegas pro 17 to spice up your videos then just use the standard fonts a big shout out to vegas pro for actually including already some really cool fonts that come default with vegas pro but some Sometimes you just need a little extra choice. So this is it, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you guys in a brand new video tomorrow, as always, on the channel. So I'll catch you guys in my next video.